percent. This is expected to be the busiest week of the year for one of the triad's best known nonprofits. That's because thousands of locals will rush to drop off sites to get a tax break on goods they no longer need. Tonight, our Margaret Johnson is looking at how all those donations are changing lives. Margot? Well, we sat down with a single mom of teenagers who knows firsthand what these donations really mean, and now she's trying to give back. That's the sound of your donations to Goodwill Industries. Changing lives here in the Triad. For your donation. You drop it off, it's sold in the retail stores, and the money is used to help thousands of people get back their hope, their joy, and a brighter future. Good afternoon, good morning, Mr. Can I help you? People like Stacy Wharton, the single mother of teenagers, lost her job in 2007 right around the holidays. I knew I had to make it for my kids. I don't have any family here, really, so I knew I had to be strong for them. And it was, ex it was extremely hard when I saw the holidays coming up. She volunteered here at Goodwill, took Microsoft and PowerPoint classes for free, became really good at it, and eventually got a job as the Goodwill receptionist. I am literally the gatekeeper of the Goodwill. I see you when you come in, I see you when you leave. That means I get to love on you when you come in, I get to love on you before you leave. The new job came right at the Christmas holidays a year later. I actually cried when I got the job because it was just that special. Yes, to watch me go from unemployed to being employed and, and me being a part of touching somebody else's life with a great team. And she hears stories a lot like her own. A family of four, people just stand at the desk and start crying. Now she's the one doing the encouraging. And it's what Goodwill does through these simple donations. Just last year, they brought in more than $31 million. Already this year, they have helped to put 4,000 people in new jobs, from health care to truck drivers and receptionists like Stacy Wharton. It's a place where we accept you just where you're at. If you're unemployed, if you have a great job, if you have a master's degree, if you're getting your GED, if, if you don't want to get any, just come here and just let us love on you. 88% of the money that Goodwill makes from the sale of donation goes directly to programs that train workers for jobs, and it picks up the bill for those who cannot afford to pay. So it's a really good thing. Yeah, we got to go through our closets. Example. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not much time. 31st, right around the corner. All right, thank you, Margo. We appreciate mm -hmm. it.